Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about widow's peak. What is widow's peak and what is its genetics? So what is a widow's peak? You must have noticed that some people have V-shaped hairline in this front part. So suppose this is upper part of head and this is front part, this is back part. In front, they have this type of hairline, this V-shape hairline, like this. So these are supposed hairs. So some people have V-shaped front hairline. These people which has V-shaped front hairline have widow's peak or are called person with widow's peak but in some people hairline is like this it is normal hairline like this so these people's are ca called no widow's peak or with no widow's peak. So when any person that has V-shape hairline, that person will be with widow's peak or that person has widow's peak. But when front hairline is normal like this, that is with no widow's peak. Why it is called? Why this is called widow's peak. So why this V-shape hairline is called widow's peak? In Europe, during 18th century, there was a custom when husband dies, then his wife wears a hat, a black hat. And this black hat is triangular shape. And in front, this hat has V shape. So suppose I am wearing a hat and this hat has a V shape in the front. So when husband of a woman dies, then his wife wears a black hat and this has a triangular shape or in front it has V shape. So when any lady that has naturally V shaped hairline, it was myth that it forecast early widowhood means when any lady has a natural v-shaped hairline there was a myth that it forecast early widowhood. That is why it is called widow's peak. So why it is called widow's peak? In 18th century in Europe, when husband dies, then his wife wear a black hat that is triangular shape and it has V shape in the front. So when any lady that has naturally V shape in his hair in her hairline, that it was a myth that it forecast early widow. So that is why it is called widow's peak. Now we know that what is widow's peak and why it is called widow's peak. Now coming to its genetics. So you must have noticed that some people have widow's peak and some have don't. Why it is so? It, it is because of genetics. This is determined by a gene and its inheritance is Dominant means 
एनी सपोज एनिल कैपिटल वी इट कोजिज विडोज पीक देन दिस स्मॉल वी कोजिज नो विडोज पीक सो इट्स इनहेरिटेंस इज डोमिनेंस वेन एनी पर्सन दैट हैज दिस एलिल दैट person will be with widow's week so here you can see there are three possibilities capital v capital v any person will be with that is with capital v capital v and he or she may be capital v small v small v and small v. so in that case the person will be with widow's peak in that case both are recessive person will be with no widow's peak so its inheritance shows dominant pattern so suppose here i am taking my example i have normal hairline so my genotype will be small v small v and suppose my wife has widow's peak she may be capital v capital v or capital v small v so if c is capital v capital v then our all children will be with widow's peak and if c is heterozygous capital v and small v and i am capital v capital v capital v small v capital v small v small v small v half of our children will will be with widow's peak and half will be without widow's peak so this is all about widow's peak what is widow's peak why it is called widow's peak and its genetics so its genetics or inheritance pattern is dominant so suppose capital v causes widow's peak then this small v causes no widow's peak so there are three possibilities homozygous dominant will be with widow's peak heterozygous dominant will be with widow's peak homozygous recessive will be with no widow's peak so this is widow's peak it's why it is called widow's peak and its genetics